colors you want to use are white, we got brown, black, and tan, all matte colors. Um, painted the goose head so you guys can see that right there. It's just spray painted black. Uh, go over everything with a wire brush. That way it takes off all the dirt or anything like that. Uh, what you want to do when you start, let me get a better video or screenshot of this. What you want to do is you want to paint and just get it on there nice and thick all the way around. I always like to go over a little bit that way it kind of blends in past the tail feathers then what you want to do is you want to take your tan from here and you want to hit the whole body All the way around and you really want to get it back up underneath all the feathers because the brown will pretty much cover right over that get it on nice and thick So the reason I say have a wire brush is basically so you can get any excess dirt off of it because I had a problem last year when I painted them there was some dirt left on it and the paint would literally chip right off. Now what you do, you can wait to let it dry or you can do it all at one time. Here, step around. This uh, let's see if we get a better shot of this. So what I like to do is I like to kind of make a U shape around it. And then you're just going to go down the sides. Just hitting the tops of the feathers. All the way to the back. down the sides you always want to keep it angled away that way it just hits the top and not the under or the back side of the feathers what I like to do too is just you know ghost it a little bit over the brown give it that look right there then you're gonna let it sit up and dry completely and I will send you a video of it once it's completely dry. Okay, so now what you can do is you can put uh, painter's tape on it. Then you take your matte primer white. And That's a 42 degree angle, people. <laughs> Ooh, you better shake that one up a little bit more. Let's see if we can get her. Oh, there we go. Okay. Or you can just take it and put it on there. Now what I didn't know from my last years was if you take clear, clear uh, sealant and spray it, the paint will hold up a lot better and won't chip and stuff like that when you're moving them in and out of a bag. What I like to do with uh, the decoy heads I'm not going to set up a brush right now because I don't want to waste one, but you take a foam brush and uh, some acrylic paint and you can just put the little white tag up on here and stuff like that. Some people take gloss paint and paint the eyeballs, but it's really just depends on what you want to do. This took us five minutes to paint. We can roughly paint close to four or five dozen decoys in a day, but uh, paint's really cheap. I think we today bought two of each color spent right around 30 30 bucks on it these are the ones I did a couple days ago right here 
And if you notice, if you look at the, the difference in the heads, this one has a little bit of a gloss to it. And this one's kind of a dull, which is what you want. So what you want to do is you just want to hold tan. You just want to hold the tan back. And just mist it a little bit to get that shine off of it and it'll dollen up once it dries and really uh, give it that dull finish as you can see the white is really you know it's really not that good but as long as they get in close enough for you to shoot them everything will be good with that these have the matte finish so basically once I spray my clear my clear coat over the top of it what I like to do is I like to stand back really far and kind of just mist it at it to give it that dull look so if there is any shine in it you know it's not going to flare any geese or anything like that but uh thank you guys for uh, asking me to send you a video if you have any other questions let me know just shoot me a message on facebook and uh we'll go from there